Hello, what's up and what's happening? Welcome back to the channel. Today, we got week number eight, but week number seven, got two AFC West ballers. NFL player of the week is Michael Bennett for those Denver Broncos. Just under 100 yards rushing, had 58 yards receiving, and then Donnie Edwards of his Chargers, who we play today. And then in the NFC, you got Matt Hasselbeck and Chris Jenkins for your NFC players of the week. Week seven matchups, you had the Panthers beat the Falcons, the Bengals, they beat the Packers, the Dolphins, they would beat us in the game that we should have won, but a pick at the end of the game by yours truly. It was a horrible read. There was no excuse to throw that pass but we did and we ended up losing the game the Jaguars they would beat the Titans the Bills they would fall to the uh, Jets then you got the Cowboys they lose to the Chargers that's their first loss of the season the Rams would beat the Colts the Giants over the Skins the Eagles they would lose to the Broncos the Eagles still have not won a game this season believe it or not the uh, Seahawks they would go on to beat the Texans then you got the Patriots over the Steelers the Cardinals would fall to the 49ers the Buccaneers and the Battle of the Pirates would uh, beat those Vikings. And then you got the Browns beating the Chicago Bears. As of right now, we are third in the AFC West. Everybody's looking up at the Broncos. We've had some early season ups and downs, to say the least. With the win here, maybe that can turn our season around. Both teams are below 500. we We've won the last two games. Of course, two games in this franchise from year one. And now we're trying to add to that with three straight wins. So the Chargers will get the football first. It's Rivers, not Drew Brees. Drew Brees is 77 overall. I was thinking about maybe pulling the trigger on a trade for one of those quarterbacks, but our man, uh, Blake uh, Golston, Blake Golston, I almost forgot his name, Blake Golston, he's our start. He's 75 overall, so no need to trade for Drew Brees. Second down and 10, Felipe throws that thing. That pass caught by Tim Dwight, and we did have for the Rivers when we did the Cleveland Brown franchise with a trade there. Rivers going to throw this one downfield, caught by LaDainian Tomlinson, and that will be a first down. Mr. Do-It-All, we're trying to turn Fargus into that. We have developed more of a power offense. Power run is our scheme, and we're trying to do play-action passes, quick passes off of those formations and off of the structure of the play action passing game there goes turner up the gutter michael turner gonna get brought down at around the 20 yard line and now we're looking at third down and six can we get off the field they're gonna send a blitz quick pass side on delivery is not going to get the job done offense is getting ready on the sideline and the chargers got to set up for a field goal the 38 yard attempt is up the whole by breeze was good and the kick is good as well so we got lewis from inside his own 5 15 20 and met with mean intentions just shy of the 25 yard line i formation gonna run that thing with fargus and fargus Expect to get a heavy work low. We did bump the quarter length back up to seven minutes. It was that way last year. I dropped it down to six. We're going to go back up to seven. And he might get 30, 35 carries per game with this new scheme. Looking downfield. That pass is incomplete. So we end up going three and out. So run the ball for two yards. Throw the ball twice for two incompletions. And there you go. Thomason up the gut. He's going to get brought down by my homeboy, Kenny Holmes. Second down and nine. They're going to run the ball. And there goes Baja Bila Mila with the stop. Third down and nine. Rivers under some pressure. Napoleon Harris. No, that's Baja Bila Mila, excuse me. Coming right up the middle with the sack. And we take back over. Little full house backfield. Two fullbacks and a running back back there. Again, going with the full house with Eubanks out there for our speed in case we go play action out there. He has 97 overall speed. Colston looking downfield and Colston pass will be caught by our boy Jerry Porter. Makes the catch in the first down. Looking downfield here and we're going to throw a strike that's broken up. It's not quite a strike. It has to be complete to be a strike. That pass will fall incomplete. Second down and 10 now. 22 personnel out there. Two backs, two tight ends and we go backwards. So third down and 13. Goldston looking to fire this one downfield, broken up, try to hit Eubanks out there, but that pass falls incomplete. And we get the ball right back to the Chargers. There goes Tomlinson to the outside, and Tomlinson is going to get a first down. Still the best running back in the division. Obviously, you add Fargus, who's now 89 overall and has 87 overall carry. Remember, carry was an issue last year, and now you add a Michael Bennett too the AFC West and yeah things are looking crazy oh yeah you still got Priest Holmes he might have the best core running backs in the NFL in this one division there goes Tomlinson up the gut he gets shut down 
So great job by now I'm getting up in there for the stop. We're going to continue to try to run the ball, and it's not working because the Chargers are built to stop the run, obviously. So play fake. Looking now, Phil, for Doug Jolly, and that's why you stay consistent with the ground game. Hit your big tie in on that corner route, and that's money, baby. We're inside San Diego territory. We go up the gut, and Fargus, he's going to pick up a gain of four. We'll go with that full house look yet again. We got Crockett wide open, but forget Crockett. We're going for the whole enchilada, and Doug Jolly makes the catch right there, and that's going to take us to the second quarter of play. So full house, eye formations, two backs, two tight ends. We're going heavy with this ground attack. There goes Porter. He's going to run that comeback route, and we're going to feast on that all day long. When they put guys in the box, you can't cover that comeback with two guys, and you need two guys to cover Jerry Porter. So first down and goal, out formation. Give it to Fargus. He finds the end zone touchdown. And I'm going to try my best to get him to the Pro Bowl. I really don't care about the Pro Bowl that much, but it'll be nice to see, especially in this, again, this division, this conference as a whole. Ricky Williams in Miami. I mean, my goodness gracious. That pass going to be caught by Dwight, and that is going to be a first down for the Iowa man. First down and 10. I formation that goes Tomlinson to the outside and he's loose and Tomlinson gets brought down by Baja Bila Mila and that might have been a touchdown saving tackle. Rivers throws it downfield and Gibson says get that thing up out of here. I'm about to leave, I'm about to leave Pearson alone. I'm going to let him do what he wants to do. He is a rookie but I'm going to trust him. Go back to what we had last year with me controlling Gibson. He made it to the Pro Bowl. The only defensive player to make it to the Pro Bowl. It's a lot easier to let a Rod Wilson out there as Fargus gets loose. With him having all that experience, but I'm going to trust the free safety from here on out this season. Going to go back to using my strong safety as I do kind of well and then kind of horribly at the same time. Vargas loose yet again. Run that football, homeboy, and that's going to result in a first down. Trying to get this counterplay right, and I think it's, it's just not working right because sometimes Stone pulls and sometimes he doesn't pull. And I'm like, what's happening? So play fake looking downfield. That pass caught by Looker, and it's so great to be able to spread things out with four receivers that can do their thing. Brian, Brian Finneran's kind of been the forgotten man, but look at what that quickness, Porter, the overall good one, and then Eubanks, the upstart rookie with all that speed. We have some options out there. Two tight ends, second to go to Johnson in the flat. And again, when we go two tight ends, that might be the best look for us because both tight ends are 80-plus overall. Goes to looking down, field for Eubanks, makes the catch. All that speed on that corner out is deadly. And it's first and goal. Full house look yet again. Can go up the gut. And the blocking was decent. I see you, Zach Crocker, getting a pancake block after the fact. We're going to see Tyrone Wheatley in motion. This time two backs, one fullback. Two running backs, one fullback, I should say. And Fargus will get down inside the five. Third and goal. Golston looking. And he's going to throw it. And yeah. I, was, I figured that he got jammed, but I thought I gave him enough time to get away from the jam coverage and a cut inside on that slant. Didn't work out. We set up for a field goal, and we're up by seven. Rivers has a man open. That pass is caught, but out of bounds. As they're going to try to get downfield with a minute 50 on the clock. Big hit put on Rivers, but he finds Caldwell, who hauls it in, and that's a first down. Rivers 5 of 8 so far today. It's been the running game show for both teams. That pass broken up right there as they go with the air attack because, you know, you have less than two minutes on the clock. Got to hurry up. That pass also falls incomplete. Where's Drew Brees when you need him? Third down, 10 yards to go. Rivers has it. Rivers throws it deep, and that pass caught by Dyson. You would think that Charles Woods will have these guys in clamps sometimes, but not always. And I'm like, some of these receivers are not on your level, Charles Woods. Like, come on. Rivers going to find another man open. Going to fire underneath the Caldwell, and that's going to result in a first down. So it's about to be first and goal. They need about, what, just over nine and a half yards maybe to get to the end zone. That pass going to be caught by Tim Dwight. They get it in one play. And this ball game was all tied up at 10 apiece. Lewis trying to get loose, and he does so up to about the 30-yard line, making the 29. So first down and 10 from there. Golston looking downfield, still looking, buying time. He, he only has 37 overall speed, but man, oh, man, he could buy some time with that big old line in front of him. And we find Jolly down that right side. Let's give these guys some time to throw it. And then, oh, my goodness gracious, Eubanks. He, he's a menace in that slot. 12 personnel out here. Looking down, Phil Fortport again. Just buying just enough time. He is not going to run this whole series. You might not see him run at all, but 
he can buy just enough time as we find Jerry Porter in the end zone. Let's go. So 17 to 10 is the score. Again, we haven't had great success on the ground, right? Just 28 yards rushing, but being consistent with the ground game, having these big formations with three running backs, two tight ends, it forced them to put guys in the box. And with our receivers, that could be deadly. Just have a man-on-man -man coverage, right? He's going to take a shot deep and the triple coverage, which I do not recommend, and I'm kicking myself on doing that, but I kind of panicked. So now we try to bounce it with Fargus, and I think we got to stick with just kind of in between the tackles right behind the guards and try to do our damage there. Looking now, Phil for Porter, who has it, but the hit by Quentin Jammer is going to knock that football up out of there. So we lose some yards, and we throw an incompletion, and now Tomlinson is loose. That's the danger when you put your safeties in the box and there's a blitz, and nobody lays a hand on Tomlinson. He goes coast to coast. And that's not a good look for our defense. Now it's a 7-7 ball game. Might have to open things up just a little bit more, but we do come out with the ground attack. Came out with two tight ends and one back, and that's going to work out for a gain of six. 11 personnel out here this time. Going to weave through traffic and pick up a first down. Again, got to stay consistent with the ground game because it's going to open everything up. And Ghostin's still a rookie. He's improved since the first handful of games, but he's still a rookie. Still has some things we got to work out. Fargus up the gut. Another good game right there. So now, yo, they're going to back up a little bit. They got two safeties kind of deep, kind of somewhat not in the box. So let's run the ball right back at them. And that's going to be a first down. Just continue to chip away. Pound that rock. Play fake now looking downfield. And this throw, bananas. Absolutely ridiculous accuracy by our quarterback, Blake Golston, rookie second-round pick from Miami. And, yeah, I spelled it because that one, even I was surprised that he completed that pass. We go backwards yet again, though. Again, we got to go just up the gut, bouncing it. Is this not working? Maybe it's the Chargers defense. It won't work against other defenses, maybe. But I know it is working. Jerry Porter, six catches, 84 yards, plus a touchy. Ghost looking downfield under some pressure. Throw it to Jolly. It was along the sideline, so no fear the linebacker making an interception. But he does bat it away. Got to set up for a field goal. Kick is up. Kick is good. So we do drive down the field, and we do take the lead. But we were hoping for just a little bit more. Rivers looking downfield. And then right there, that, 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 that's just one of those ones. Just make the tackle. Shame on me. Been playing on the left side as the free safety this whole season. Got to get back to using Gibson again, and uh, yeah, didn't work out right there. So that's a blunder, and then that's going to happen. But like I said, when I play defense, I would like my mistakes to be magnified more so than if I'm just like playing on the D-line where it's not magnified that much. But hey, it is what it is. That's the way I like to play. That pass going to be caught by Porter, and that's going to result in a first down. Seven catches, 95 yards from him having one of those crazy days like he had earlier last season. Well, we were just targeting him, helping or hoping that he would develop into what he developed. So we kind of know what we're doing with developing some of these younger guys. We're going to run that ball with Fargus. Another nice game. And again, it's old school football here. And it's the old school mentality as well. We're going to run that ball all day long. That pass going to be caught by Porter. And then we're going to find our number one receiver. Like our game plan right now is working out pretty good. Again, not too much success on the run. But since the second half, it's been better. It's been better. Ghosting, 10 touchdowns, 4 interceptions. At one point, he was 3-3. Three and three. 3 touchdowns, 3 interceptions. That pass to who? Jerry Porter. He's a beast out there. We don't need Randy Moss, the big boss, because we got Porter. And then we got Eubanks, 97 overall speed on the play fake. Quentin Jammer bit. Why? Because our rushing attack is so deadly. That deadly run. Okay, you better go hide the children when we run in that football and we find Eubanks downfield, and that's going to result in a touchdown. So Dwight makes the catch right there, gain of nine. They give it, no, they play second to Thomason. Dyson downfield, he makes the catch, and Charles Woodson gets beat yet again. They go with the offset. I look, they give it to the fullback, good speed. Where's Lorenzo Neal? If y'all got two fullbacks, and I know I'm making the right choice because this running game back in 05 for the Chargers was deadly, absolutely deadly. Dyson, he makes the catch right there, broke a tackle. And picks up a decent game. This should be the last play of the third quarter. LT, you see me? Yeah. With Gibson, we just stop Antonio Gates from blocking anybody else. And we're headed to the fourth quarter. So third down, one yard to go. They're going to run the ball with LT right up the gut. Breaks a tackle. Then he gets brought down by the big boys up front. Again, not too much pressure today. 
We've had done a decent job versus LT. We give we did give up some big plays, but consistently it's been around three, four yards a carry, which is so good for him. But we'll take that because most of the time it's been three. But then right there, blunder number two by yours truly. We had a lane to fill, and we didn't fill it correctly, and Michael Turner takes it to the crib. So there goes another big run right there. So we got to get my strong safety skills back. Free safety, we did decent. You know, got to pick versus Brady. That's always fun. But we got to get back to our strong safety position. Second down and 10 now. Going to go to the air. Quick pass. Going to be caught by Porter. Find your true number one receiver and feed that man. We got 10 receptions for him today. And then we keep on doing this. Going backwards, we got to take some of these plays about the playbook because they just don't work. But this does work. Two safeties deep, forget passing it. We're going to go with that ground play. And it's going to pick up a decent gain right there. Left some meat on the bone. Well, one for six on third down. Could make it two for seven at slant route. Oh, it's two for seven, baby. Move those change. Number seven, Ghost, and having himself a day. Going to give the ball to Tyrone Wheely. I thought he was going to retire last year. He's like, no, nah, I got another season in me, coach. Second down and eight. Golston looking down. Phil going to roll left. Throws it and that pass will hit the grass. So we throw that football away. Third down and eight. Who are we going to go to here? Porter's been cooking all day, but he's on a short route. So we're going to go to Eubanks and we trust the rookies to come through on third down and they do just that. So the drive shell continue. We need a touchdown, a field goal. But we'll still give the Chargers the lead. And we are not trying to have them have the lead this late in the ballgame. Looking now, Phil going to throw it to Porter. Again, Porter is absolutely dominating. A buck 61. Just 15 yards after the catch, too. It's not like he's breaking away. Every pass has been on the money. And there goes Fargus. If I could just wait for Crockett, we might be in the end zone. But I felt like I would have to wait too long. And then the same thing happens here. I thought like I would just have to wait too long, but maybe I got to trust Crockett to get back in the play. There goes Fargus up the gut. We're going to take the time down all the way to about a minute 20 on the clock before we snap it. We give it to number 20. Touchdown, Raiders. And we have taken the lead. So that's what you want. Right up the gut with Fargus. A nice, timely drive. We left a minute 19 on the clock. Hopefully our defense can get some good plays as we get a hit stick on the kick return. Minute 15 on the clock. No pass rush to speak up, but the coverage on the back end was solid. And that's Pearson laying the lumber. Rivers looking downfield. Still looking to throw that thing. Gibson jumps on top of Dwight, but he has a first down. 80 receiving yards for the Iowa Hawkeye. Rivers steps up, throws it. Caught by good speed. Even their fullback can make plays out of the back. So you love to see it. Get your fullbacks involved. That pass caught by Tim Dwight, and that's going to result in a gain of around eight yards. They're going to hurry back to the line of scrimmage. Split back look. We still got our 4-3 defense out there. They're going to look downfield, and that pass will fall and complete as Ted Washington lays the lumber on Rivers. Third down and two. That pass going to be caught by Gates. Haven't called his name at much at all today. So it's first down and 10, 30 seconds on the clock. Rivers has it. He throws it down. Field Tim Dwight makes the catch. Brought down by Nomi. The Chargers have one timeout left. Antonio Gates is the man in motion. They're going to run the ball with Tomlinson. He only got one timeout, and it's not like at the goal line. So they run the ball. Tick, 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 tick. And now they're going to spike it with 18 seconds on the clock. So 18 seconds. They're 3 of 7 on third down. They're going to run the ball with their fullback, and they're going to pick it up. So they're going to hurry back. They still, that, they still have that one timeout left. And Felipe is, I guess he's not going to snap it, and they're going to burn their last time out here. So they're not going to go for the win. They're going to play for overtime. And the kick is on its way, and the kick is good. So, of course, these franchises are linked, talking about the Giants and the Chargers, and we played Eli, who was not playing because he's the backup, but we played the Giants in overtime, now playing the Chargers in overtime okay so we tied versus the giants we're not trying to tie versus the Chargers, but we're also not trying to lose so we're going to send this one deep tim dwight takes the knee first down and 10 gibson's in the box gates gonna go in motion come on a three four look but we got eight guys in the box and we're gonna send a blitz and that blitz forces a quick pass and charles woodson has ended it except there's a flag on my homeboy holmes but it came after the interception of holding and he didn't need to hold because it was it was a pick six. Who holds on a pick six when he's on the sideline? What's happening? So we're going to 
Audible out of the run play to a pass play, and Donnie Edwards is on steroids. The way that he jumped that route is ridiculous. So you see the numbers. Goldson, 32 of pass attempts so far today. We're going to run the ball with Fargus, though. A beautiful run right there. And we're looking at, what, third down and two? We give it to him again, and we get shut down. So we got to kick it. And you know what happened versus the Giants? We missed two field goals in overtime. Are we going to miss one here versus the Chargers? The answer is no. And we get the 500. The Chargers are still below 500. And we are now second place in the AFC West. And last season, it was a two-man race between us and the Broncos all season long. Now, the Broncos, they won their game earlier today. So they are now 5-3. and three. So that's good for them. We are 3-3-1. Three, three, and one. So it feels like this season... Like, it feels like it's been the amount of games that it's been, but I also feel like it's been, like, a journey because we've seen Eubanks progress. He was 68 overall, now he's 70 overall. We saw um, Golston, he progressed. When we drafted him, he was, like, 68 overall, I want to say 67 overall. Through the preseason and training camp, got him up to 70, and now through some game plays, he's 75 overall. Jerry Porter was trying to turn into an all-pro receiver. He held out last year, got a new contract. He's paying dividends. Defense, still a worry. That's why I want to go back to Gibbs and see if that can help our defense out. I kind of hurt our defense with some of my plays but again that's what i want i want my mistakes on offense to be magnified if i make a poor decision it's going to be a pick if i make a poor decision playing safety we should you know give up some big plays that's kind of the way that i like my game plays to be but obviously i'm not trying to make bad plays i'm trying to be good i'm trying to make y'all proud anyways though that's gonna do it gotta figure out some of charles Wilson. we signed him to a big money contract he getting beat like every week but he did kind of win us the game today but that's going to do it. I hope you guys enjoyed the video. I do hope that the rest of your day is the best of your day. And to me to get my friends. Peace, love. Hi, sauce.